here welcome back to our channel so guys welcome if you're new for those of you that have been with us we welcome you back and basically we are starting the new year fresh we're going to be doing a lot more DIYs so look forward to that and not just uh, the DIYs that we've been previously doing in terms of like candles and soaps we're actually going to do a lot of DIYs around the house and so a lot of projects that you can incorporate in your own home that are budget friendly and that are creative so definitely stay tuned for that we're we're also going to be starting back up with our healthy eating um, in terms of sharing videos that have helped with us in our um, transition for me I've transitioned back from uh, meat to becoming vegan again so stay tuned for that I'm quite excited to restart my vegan journey and so there's a lot of new things for 2021 and so we hope that you guys are going to tune in and continue supporting and we trust that you guys are being safe and keeping healthy and let's jump into this video all right official week of the year is it second or third oh my goodness guys Anyways, we are going to do a DIY today. I've been making my own uh, deodorant for uh, just over a year now. So mind you though, I have been using natural deodorant for, I want to say about three, four years. Um, only because the regular store-bought deodorant has so many chemicals, um, so many harsh chemicals. And so I found that I was getting, like my armpits were getting burnt a lot. Um, and I was actually experiencing a lot of um, just irritation and really uh, broken skin. And so I decided to uh, make the transition from store-bought deodorant to all-natural deodorant. But of course, anything all-natural can sometimes tend to be a little bit pricey when you purchase them. And so I thought, you know what? Why not make my own? And to be honest, I found a really great recipe. It's very easy. Uh, once you get the items that you need, you will be able to enjoy the benefits of having a natural deodorant where you're not going to suffer any kind of um, irritation, any kind of broken or cracked skin, and it's just overall healthier for you. However, the one thing I should, I should share with you guys is that when you are transitioning from store-bought, like regular deodorant, to all-natural deodorant, you do want to make sure that you do a... Uh, detox so like an armpit detox and if you guys are interested I could definitely share um, how I do my armpit armpit detox um, because that's very essential only because you have to rid your body of all the toxins and the chemicals that have built up over the years and so I definitely recommend to do an armpit detox which I did in the initial um, transition uh, stage and then I do it like once a month or once every other month I pretty much gauge it because you know your body's always like building up on toxins, unfortunately, especially depending on like your environment and your diet. And so it's just like a, a healthy maintenance um, tool that you can use just to actually ensure that you're ridding your body of all of those unwanted chemicals. So guys. All right, guys. So we're going to begin with our ingredients. I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you in order to have an effective deodorant, because trust me, I've tried a lot of recipes and this one by far is the most effective. So I will leave all of the ingredients and items in the description box. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pour your coconut oil. Then you're going to add your beeswax pellets followed by your shea butter. And so that's how it's going to look. You're going to melt it all up. Then we're going to add our cocoa butter. Now we're adding our sweet almond oil. And we are going to then add our jojoba oil. So once you've added those measurements, you're going to do your dry mixture separately in a bowl. So I have my cornstarch along with my arrowroot powder. And you're going to, of course, add your essential oils. So I chose three different mixes, which is bergamot. I chose tea tree oil and I also chose grapefruit and so of course you can feel uh, free to choose whatever three that you want and you don't even have to use three I just like to be fancy and I like to smell good so I chose three and then you're gonna mix all of your wet liquids make sure that they're fully melted and now you're just gonna add your dry mixture to your wet mixture and you're gonna use a whisk and just 
basically combine it guys so really simple you're gonna make sure that all of the lumps are smooth out of that liquid 